na muungano wa IGAD umeafikia kuundwa kwa sheria inayolenga kukabiliana na ugaidi na itikadi kali miongoni mwa wanawake. Kupitia kongamano la wabunge Mombasa viongozi hao wamekiri kuwa kwa muda mrefu wanawake wamedaiwa kujihusishwa na masuala ya kigaidi ila ukosefu wa sheria umekuwa kizingiti kikuu. Hali ya maisha yametajwa kama moja wepo ya sababu za wanawake kujiingiza katika makundi ya kigaidi. Gaidi Francis Mtalaki anaarifu zaidi. Wabunge kutoka mataifa ya muungano wa Igado wamekongamana Mombasa kujadili mbinu za kukabiliana na itikadi kali pamoja na ugaidi miongoni mwa wanawake. Katika kongamano hilo la siku tatu, wabunge kutoka mataifa ya Igad wamekubaliana kuunda sheria ili kukabiliana na wanawake wanaojihusisha na ugaidi. Now we are looking at how do we ourselves work together as a region and be able to uh, deal with this threat that is transnational in nature and therefore we are able to put in uh, 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 legal frameworks that are regional in nature and are able to support us as a region to and see where we can be able to uh, improve our respective uh, legislation in, the, in our respective countries how um, they can be better prepared um, and have the laws in place uh, that will also protect them Um, we've also been um, um, informed that uh, women are not only affected by uh, violent extremism uh, but also there's been there've been women in uh, participating Hali duni ya maisha imetajwa kama moja wapo ya sababu zinazochangia kwa wanawake kujiunga na makundi ya kigaidi Frequently women are joining the, uh, the board and one of the reasons perhaps when we sit and analyze is that some women are frustrated economically and they are willing to join extremism and they are promised big positions that once they come and take over governments they will be given positions and two you know when they are frustrated and their children are frustrated especially unemployment they end up going into extremism thinking that when they come back their children will be employed so terrorism is gender we uh, governments when they design policies when they design laws about extremism about terrorism they have to attach it with gender because it damages family it damages women and her children so the only solution is government has to be careful in designing laws and MPs also parliamentarians we have to be careful kongamano hili linakamilika hii leo huku wabunge kutoka mataifa ya IGAD wakitazamiwa kuzamia swala hili pamoja na uundaji wa adhabu kali ili kupigana na itikadi kali pamoja na visa vya ugaidi there is a lot of going uh, operations going on we de we developed a lot of strategies i mean plans strategic plans security strategic plans for the for the security institutions and they are implementing that plan the registrators the, the parliamentarians have a critical role in allocating resources and some of the challenges we are dealing with require huge resources not only to the security organs that are dealing with these threats but also to the citizens the marginalized areas require resources to be allocated there the vulnerable people Francis Mtlaki Ringa citizen Mombasa